Ready? Yeah. Three, oh, two. God. The enemies are coming! Get on your fucking shit right now! Go, 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 go! Enemy right there! Oh, above. God, where do we get this guy? Fucking right! You're dead. You're, You're dead. dead. <laughs> come on, come on. It's on close. You're not good there. No, lower it. Lower it. No. Lower the strap. <laughs> lower the side strap. Get in the middle. No, Jesus like, Christ, man. What's with that <laughs> other side going on there? Your other side. No, no, the, the side that's your on your tit. Where does this go? It goes on the other It way. goes under oh. there as well. Jesus, Time. man. 34 seconds. I was going to say 35. No. I think I'd, I'd be pretty close. He died in the, dying you know, like, the muck of Vietnam. We look like we're going into O block. Yeah, What's your rank, soldier? <laughs> He's in third grade. He's in third grade. Lance Corporal. Lance Corporal. Mm. Mm. Major. Lance Corporal Paul. <laughs> Hey, yo, that isn't like in the way of any camera, right? The water? It's not, but I don't really want it right there. Can you take it off? You can push it towards me. Oh! <laughs> There's no way we're surviving the military, bro. <laughs> There's no way. Team exercises? No fucking way. No yeah. team exercises. I would, I'd rather die. Wow. Then serve the military? I was just gonna go to jail with I'd rather die. serve crack yeah. than serve this country. <laughs> you did serve the country. Now I'm serving crack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm selling Molly to junior hires. Jesus Christ. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm junior hires. <laughs> Same. Okay. And we're live in three, two, one. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the United States, citizens of the United uh, States territories. Other territories, um, the Byzantine Empire. <laughs> <laughs> whoever, whoever that is, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Welcome back is. to another Let's segment another of Suburb Talks. I'm your host, Nick Rahetta. Joining me tonight, we have Binthia Boy. Mm. We have Maria Lee. Mm. Hello. Mm. We have Davino Paul. Uh, Corporal Major Paul. Oh my God. <laughs> reporting reporting at your duty. Why did I agree to this? We have Wyatt J. Miller. Sailor. <laughs> yeah. Just an just average sailor. Yes, yeah, sir! <laughs> oh, you fucking took my life, damn it. <laughs> Fuck. And we have. Sorry, yes, sir! <laughs> Who <Hoo -ah! laughs> <laughs> Hey, before we get started, though, um, why? How, do you, how are you supposed to salute again? How do you salute? Like, so what's the, the tip way? of the brim. Uh, these I don't have a brim. So I don't have a brim. So okay, so we'll use your hair because your hair is kind of looking like a little hat right now. You go <laughs> straight hand, tip of these two fingers onto the brim. No. And you want to oh. keep your hand and your arm straight. Yeah, like that. Are you good? Straight like that? Why is this right? You have probably got the best one. No, I did. no oh, she doesn't. You no, she doesn't. Please, Wyatt, are you kidding Wyatt. me, bro? Hey, man, you're doing this. Oh. <laughs> you what? You want it to be kind of a kind of an angle. Wait, like, like this? You want it no. to be kind of a kind of a triangle? No, it's not. It kind is kind of a triangle action. Oh, why don't you just say so? You're doing one of these, Nick. Oh, that's good. That's good. And then it's just like. All right, now hand over your heart. You just do that, and then you drop. Now hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Do you realize how weird that saying is? Like you're pledging your allegiance to like this country. Like, why am I giving my allegiance? Isn't it weird? Oh wait, hold on. Let me put my hand on again. Remember how kids? Remember how they they wouldn't force kids to like salute like the flag? They would be like, oh, like it's okay. Like they could sit down. You remember that? Traitors. Did they would do that in your school? They, they got slapped with the ruler one time. Remember in F Ocean, they, they didn't make everything. No, they do smacked it? my. They were like, put your hands on the table. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what? It's so funny. Did you guys learn square dancing in school? Yeah, I actually all? did. Yeah. So, I did. What? I was talking to one of my friends from high school, and he was telling me that supposedly, I haven't looked this up entirely, but I'm very confident with my source here. Apparently, they taught square dancing, it was implemented by john wayne famous cowboy and actor or and airport actor, named after an airport famous airport john wayne <laughs> uh he suggested it in order to combat jewish and african-american uh influence such as jazz and the sort shut wow. up are you that serious so yeah you know what you can keep going with the intro i'll look it up to make sure but that's what my buddy told me and i kind of believe him Damn. that's fucked up no I, I definitely learned it in elementary i learned it in elementary school too are you serious yeah Hey, that's kind of weird though. I never questioned the fact that we learned square dancing. Yeah, that was just like a PE thing. Like, yeah, was it PE? It, it was for my PE. It wasn't PE for, for me. us. It was like we had oh, like yeah. a partner. Remember, we had a partner. Who was bro? your partner, dude? Dude, I was so pissed. I, let me tell you a little story. I was pissed too. So like, <laughs> I had a girl. I was literally, 
I had a girl, but she wasn't the girl that I wanted. I had a guy. Um, <laughs> back, well, back, how, fifth grade? Was it fifth grade? It was the fifth grade. Thing. Fifth, so fifth grade, right? We do square dancing, and you have to, like, you learn the dance, and you get partnered up with someone, right? Mm -hmm. But you're partnered up with them based on your height. Oh, wow. Oh, so, yeah. You remember, right? So literally, the woman of my dreams, bruh, half an inch. She's six one. Half an <laughs> She's six one. <laughs> she was actually 5'9 at the time. No, not five. You were not five. No, not five. Nine nine. She was like, <laughs> like four, what are we talking about? I'm not gonna tell you. Say she it. was like, she no, no, this probably is like what five four, five five stuff. in elementary school. No, absolutely I'm not. How tall you in elementary school? Like when, I was five, ten, like four, when I was ten, like, <laughs> when I was ten, I was not region <laughs> five. Two. Nah. How tall are you in elementary school? Like four ten. I was like five foot. Maybe. Okay, I was I was below average. Not so. even five foot. Hell no. Ten oh. years old. I don't know. Huh. I, that's okay, like four little. You're like, you're like five. four, yeah. probably ten. Really? Yeah. I don't know. She was something nine, and I was like seven. Four oh, nine. She's tall. Oh, so yeah. she was like so four you're, nine. You were four nine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so Come on, is it? Um, Jamie? Oh. Yeah. How'd you know oh, that? Diamond. I, I thought it was, was, was knowing I thought it was Rachel Beck. <laughs> no, no. Rachel Beck was like five three in elementary school. Yeah, no, Rachel was, she tall. was tall. She was, she's been tall. Yeah, but anyways, so I like, would like to apologize. It was not John Wayne. It was Henry <laughs> Ford, famous Nazi supporter. Okay, oh, wow. Henry Ford. And we never took it out of. We never unimplemented it. Creator of Ford vehicles. That's Cre Harrison. yes. Uh, mm -hmm. yes no, that's famous uh, helicopter crasher. <laughs> Crashed at Fullerton Henry Airport. Ford's, yeah. No, Henry that's Ford's. Indiana Jones. <laughs> yeah, Henry Ford. <laughs> <laughs> Harrison Ford crashed at Fullerton Airport. <laughs> Wow. Indi Indiana Jones? Indiana Jones. Really? Wait, Indiana Hell Jones is real? Yes. yes. No, I mean, the guy who played Indiana Jones is real. Great movie, So by he's way. real. Indiana Jones, the guy who played Indiana Jones is real. Harrison Henry Ford. Henry Ford. Well, of course Harrison. he's real, but I'm talking about is Indiana Jones No, real? it's not no. based on a real person. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Anyways, back to my story. Um, I was like four, uh, seven at the time, and the girl in my dreams was like four, nine, and the next girl down was like four, eight, and I was the shortest in the class, and I got paired up with the girl that was 4'8", and it made me really sad because I could have squared answered with the love of my life, but I was too short, and she told me that after I didn't get her as my partner. It was really sad. I never saw her again. She switched schools. Loser! Damn, those yeah. are the worst. I still have her Instagram, yeah. if you want to see her. I do want to see it after this. Link her in the bio, or in the description. Okay. Add her on LinkedIn. Add her on LinkedIn, dog. <laughs> see where she's working. Look at her past job. See how successful she is. She's yeah. in Korea right now, though, so. Oh, she is? Yeah. They got LinkedIn in Korea. She's Korean. <laughs> Yeah, of course she's Korean. Of course she's Korean. <laughs> we went to an elementary school full of Korean okay, kids. Okay, there wasn't much. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Of course she's Korean. There, though, actually, I got paired up with the one girl that wasn't Korean. Who? You just uh, oh, oh oh. I got paired oh. up with the one girl that wasn't Korean. Oh. She was white. <laughs> Why'd you say it like that? Yeah, sorry, that? sorry. I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean it like that. Um. Also, guys. Um. I have given up. Alcoholic beverages. No, you didn't. <laughs> That's such a lie, though, honestly. Oh, yeah? Who wants to explain our Friday night in Newport Beach? I do. I do. I Dude, do. you're a fucking idiot. Go ahead and That's explain. I want I want step-by-step, you know, step, guys. Just... I, got a, I got a 4 a.m. phone call. <laughs> he was right. blacked out. All of you guys were ignoring me at night. I, I saw huh? your location. You guys were still out? Near I, Garden I, I Grove? I got a location. I have your location. How? Wait, you called him? I'm kidding. <laughs> you called Nick? Um, yes, I called Nick. Dude, I, I texted up. you guys in the no, group chat. Didn't. I was like, hey, come come through. I know you guys are in Garden Grove. No one replied. I do remember that. You showed me the text. And I showed you the text. You did, yeah. You dickhead. But no, no, no. Yeah, I I, I thought you did respond. Nope. Never I, got I blacked out, bro. Damn. Yeah, he was blacked out, though. I was blacked out, and he fell asleep. But anyway, wait, wait. Listen, guys. Yeah, that was like 4 o'clock in the quick, morning. Quick backstory, and then I'm going to let Wyatt explain. Uh, last Friday, we all decided to go out to Newport Beach for our friend's 21st birthday. Um, for those of you who don't know, there's a bunch of bars out there that literally everyone goes to. It's so much fun. It's literally right on the beach kind of area, but people literally go there to get fucked up. Anyways, though, Wyatt's going to go ahead and explain the story. All right. So we start off filming a video for me, and it was link in the description. So we start off filming a video that involved mm. a lot of alcohol. We're pre-gaming hard. We get an Uber out there. We get to the first bar. Everyone's drinking. Everyone's having a good time. It's not a crazy lip bar, though. So we're chugging our drinks so we can get out of there fast. That's problem one. We're chugging yeah. at, at a bad rate. For reference, in, that, in the short time we were there, probably 30 minutes or so, I had two vodka Red Bulls and a big old pint of Modelo. As we leave, <laughs> Daniel and I have to hold Nick in between us. Like, this is Nick. 
remember that. And we had to carry him to the next bar. At, at this point, guys, I didn't make Wait, it to really? one bar without blacking out. I was blacked out once I got into that bar. It's this a Woody's? Is, yeah. No. Shag. Shag. Stag. 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 So, I was blacked out at Stag. Wait, which one was? First Stag one we ever went to, bro. First one we went to. Yeah. Then we went to Woody's afterwards. We went to Woody's. So you had to be carried to Woody's. Apparently. Really? I don't I thought, remember. I we were yes. all like walking fine. I don't remember. He was not. So we're walking. Wow. We're carrying him. We get to the next bar. We're, this is where it gets kind of uh, shaky and where the group starts to split up. Um, I'll primarily be telling it from my point yeah, of view. Yeah, this is where the stories all go different ways and no one knows. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I don't know where, don't know where the hell you guys went. So we're inside. We're on the dance floor. We snag a table. We're all drinking very heavily. We get outside. And that was mistake number two. The group starts splintering. Half of it's inside. Half of it's outside. Yeah. And then at one point... So the back of the bar, it's a back patio, and it's got a fence that covers up almost all of it except for a rope at one part. If you if you go past the rope, you fall down like probably a six, seven-foot drop into straight water. So I'm sitting on it, and I'm swinging on it, and some worker comes by, and he's like talking to Daniel, pointing at me. He's like, hey, you got to get your friend. you got to tell him to stop. Otherwise, I'm going to have to kick him out. It's a safety hazard. And I'm like processing what's going on as Daniel's like, yeah, 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 we're good. We're good. Then I kind of realized what happened as he's walking right away. I'm yelling, you coward, you fucking pussy. Kick me out yourself. I'm hammered. I don't remember this, but oh this my is my God. This is what Daniel's yelling or this is what Daniel told me. And I say, you fuck this. I'm going to the next bar. I'm leaving. I kicked myself out of the bar because he wouldn't kick me out. It's alpha. And as I'm leaving, as far I'm peeing on the know. side of the building. And that's when Nick and Carrie pull up. <sighs> So apparently they were outside throwing up. Was it you throwing up? I think I pulled trig. I don't remember. I literally don't remember. You definitely pulled trig. My mouth tasted like throw up the next morning though. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, yeah. Pulled, you, you probably pulled trig like two, three times. I might have. So the group <laughs> splits again into thirds because a few people were outside puking and a few people were with them. And we all decide let's go to Peninsula, which is the bar next door. Only like a fourth of the original group goes. And now at this point, it's utter chaos. We're drunk. No one can get a hold of each other. It's just a shit show. <laughs> it was bad. And then the rest is sort of a single story for me, so I, I, I won't continue. But. No, go ahead and tell them how you ended the night. <laughs> you want me to Where'd you yeah, go? Yeah, go ahead and just jump to the end of the night <laughs> and where you ended you, up at. I don't know where you went. I'll, Bro, I'll, I'll you called me at 4 a.m. I'll fast forward. We, we're at the bar till 2 a.m. The bar closes. We're leaving. And over the course of an hour to two hours... We're sitting out tr outside the bar trying to get a hold of an Uber. I'm with one of our friends. She's very inebriated. And her brother keeps calling her saying, uh, you need to get home like immediately. I don't know who this dude is. Yeah. So then eventually we get, or we get an Uber back to her place. My phone is at 3%. I walk her to the door. I call an Uber. It's going to be 25 minutes to get there because it's 5 in the fucking morning now. You I have stood no there till 5 in the morning? Well, it's also like a 45 minute Uber back. He was there till five in the morning, bro. But you were there in Newport at, till five in the morning. Until like no, four, four, fifteen. They were four. there pretty late, bro. Because they, were, I was trying to get a hold of them when you were passed out at the next party we were at. He called me to pick him up. That was already at four then. Yeah. yeah. Y'all are insane. Why he called me to pick him up? Yeah. And he was, I was like, bro, drop your location. I pick it up right now. He never texted me right after the phone call. <laughs> <laughs> All right. At, at that point, we were probably the Uber was probably there. I don't, but I don't remember I'm like, it's 25 minutes. I can't just sit on my phone and wait. So I just laid down on the sidewalk threw my phone on my chest and I closed my eyes. I woke up 45 minutes later with a canceled Uber and an old white dude with his dog standing over me, kicking my feet. And no he's like, way. he's like, Hey, and you're, you're in the okay? suburbs at this point, right? I'm you're in the suburb. I don't know what suburb. I don't know where she lives. So I'm sitting there and he's like, Hey, Hey, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, no, I'm fine, dude. I'm like totally sober at this point. Or I'm pretending to be, I guess. I'm like, yeah, dude, I'm fine. He's like, you ODing? What are you doing? What drugs are you on? I'm like, <laughs> No, nah, man, I was just waiting on my Uber. And I look at my phone and my phone died right then and there. And he's like, well, do you want to do you want to ride home? <laughs> and I'm like, yes, There's yes, please. No way. What a nice dude. And he turns around and he starts jogging off. I'm like, am I supposed okay. to follow? <laughs> yeah, I was like, I took a few steps. I'm like, I'll, I'll, I'll wait here. I'm not going to run. <laughs> and then he pulls up like two minutes later. He's like, get in the truck. I get in the truck. We drive by a, Damn, a another I, white lady. I wouldn't have gotten in that truck. An absolute yeah. Karen looking type. And he pulls over and he's like, hey, this is the guy who was ODing on the sidewalk. He's <laughs> fine. And she's like, great. I'll call the police and tell him not to come anymore. Oh, oh. damn. The police are on their way, I guess. 
And then he just drove me like 20 minutes home. What a Aww. fucking guy. Turned what out. a guy. There's good white people in this world, guys. Remember that. He was a social <laughs> worker or something. He's like, I, I deal with real bad apples. You seem like a good yeah. kid. I'm like, oh, if you knew. <laughs> you, you said yeah. you didn't if you do knew. drugs, right? <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't doing drugs. No, I know, no, no, no. You told him that you didn't do drugs. Yeah, I told him okay, I was okay. just drunk in Newport. All I know is someone took advantage of me because I had a hundred and fifty dollars missing out of my bank statements that <laughs> oh, night. Oh wow! What, what I heard, I heard everybody. Um, not, not everybody. I heard everybody said that you had a drink in your hand the entire time, and you were pounding the drinks. I was pounding them, bro. They tasted so good that night. Go ahead and tell them how much money you spent, Wyatt. Uh, three to four hundred. Holy on shit! What? Through Through drinks. All that. Threw the whole bitch on my credit card, dude. The whole fucking <laughs> bitch, bro. God Wait, damn, bro. I'm pulling up my bank account. I haven't really looked at it since. It's I'm not gonna negative we'll 4000 <laughs> But I, it was a bad amount of money. Enough for me to go, negative. well, <laughs> EDC is going to be a, a, a bad event. But um, other than that, guys, yeah, that was basically our weekend. Um, I feel a dip in the middle of my head, like going more in. A dip? Yeah. He has a big dip in his head. Like from the helmet or like you got dropped? No, Soft spot. Soft Probably no drop. Yeah, dropped. Dropped? Definitely dropped. I put <laughs> as a baby, we put him on a little pottery wheel and just spun him. <laughs> <laughs> Loki, have you ever touched a baby's like soft head? That shit I know, is I, low I, key. I don't want to do that because because I think I oh. just push in the baby's head like too much. See, it's addicting. I probably shouldn't have said that. Yeah. It's Wait, addicting. It's it's addicting. It's addicting squish squish like squishing it in. Your Michael like, Jordan game fixing it. Yeah, kind of like kind of like a, like its own like slime. How squishy oh, is it? So like when a baby's born, it's it's like skull is not fully uh, made yet. So like they have really really soft skulls. Like how does it feel? <laughs> it feels like slime almost. Like it's like something what soft. The fuck? It literally feels like like. Yeah. This type of skin, like it feels like this skin, and you just push it on it. Bruh, if I had a baby, then I'd yeah. probably be playing with that all the time. Okay, <laughs> no. maybe not like that. Don't do that. Maybe no, don't, don't do that. It's like a little stress ball. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, I love stress oh balls. God. Other than that, guys, we're doing things a little bit differently tonight. Wyatt actually has some big news to tell you guys. Wait, hold on. First, uh, just a quick disclaimer. We're all wearing kind of military gear. No actual official uniform items, but... Um, no one else here is a member of the military. You can keep that on. Keep that on. Oh, sick. No one can here is a member on? of the military except for me. No one's impersonating. Like this isn't an official uniform item. It's an organizational item. Nothing like that. Amazon. And none, <laughs> none of my views that I express are directly representative of the Department of the Defense, the United States military, or the United States government as a whole. I just legally have to say that for everyone's essay. Tough. Dude, I also didn't know that you have freedom on your shirt by the military. That's yeah, I think I got this in Africa. Oh, you're sponsored. That is sick. The military is sponsored by Under Armour? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Under Armour does a lot yeah, of they do military a lot. stuff. Damn, Damn, I didn't know that. A lot of USA specific stuff. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Interesting. The more you know. Did you want to give the disclaimer yeah, of before we even start? Well, I want him to say his big news and then oh, okay, lay okay. it out. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, big man. Go ahead. Someone rub, someone rub his back. Swim rubs back. All right. All right. I'll well, run. it's time to set the record straight. Uh, a lot of you, I, I, I remember uh, being on the podcast a lot back in the day, seeing a lot of comments about how much I hate women. And <laughs> oh, what, why are you opening it up Wait, like that? Hold on. Hold why on. are you opening it up like that? I've kind of been rehearsing this. I, You've been waiting to say that. Like, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You've been waiting on that joke. So, a lot of, no, it gets, there's more to it. Okay. Let's That's the opener. Here. A lot of you feel like I hate women, and I feel like that's because people see me as a straight, white, re um, right-leaning military <laughs> man. <laughs> and you're all idiots and wrong. I hate women because I have sex with men. That's <laughs> why. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's what Nick was alluding to. I'm bisexual. That's uh, That was the joke. That was basically <laughs> the basis of it. So um, why, why recently came out to us like, um, at my house, like a <laughs> trunk is like, couple months ago. A couple months ago, like right when you came back from deployment, right? Yeah, yeah. it was like the first month I was back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and I kind of been like uh, wanting to do like a podcast where we could like talk with Wyatt about you know his experiences with it, especially being in the military because I feel like there's a lot going on, especially with like the military and a lot of things you hear about like the LGBTQ community in the military. And I know my boy's got a lot of stories to tell. So that's kind of like the basis of what this whole podcast is going to be about. And I really hope you guys enjoy it. Because I'm pretty sure we're all interested to like hear a lot of these questions. Absolutely. A lot of excited. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> it's because I got like a preview of it. Preview yeah. of it. 
disclaimer they're wild his they're stories wild. I but we're gonna take it like step by step you know take it through uh everything because these are def definitely like questions that i would also want to know especially like because i love wyatt so much and he hasn't really told us a lot about like things he's had to go through mm -hmm. um but also another disclaimer is like whatever we say we might sound like ignorant and if we do we don't mean to be ignorant or rude or anything like that. It's just dark humor. We're gonna be making. We're probably gonna make it some jokes and stuff like that. Why it's our best and friend? And he's probably gonna make even worse jokes than us. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's just curious. We're curious. <laughs> yeah, and if some of us are asking questions that you guys think are like super stupid or like, like why would you even ask that? Literally, it's just because we're just trying to get like a better understanding of it. Yeah. It's all out of love. All yeah. out of love. Yeah, and we hope that it goes like for you guys too. That you guys can learn a little bit too. But other than that, yeah. Sorry for uh, <laughs> everyone who's here for uh, or, or excited to see a full core member cast podcast i'm here to ruin it baby <laughs> first question of the night Wyatt. so when did you first know that you were like bisexual is it was there like a a specific moment in time or did you always kind of like know so i guess i've always sort of known since high school that's when the uh that's when the debauchery began um but i didn't really come to terms with it until i was on deployment and i was a little more like, I mean, I had told people before, but it wasn't really, like, I, I wasn't committed to it. Mm -hmm. Like, I was like, oh, maybe it is just the phase, you know? But uh, on deployment, that's when it, like, really clicked. Like, I, I don't need to be ashamed of who I am. Like, this is what I identify as. So, But, like, how come you came to terms with it, like, on deployment, though? Damn, I gotta be real. There. This helmet's heavy as shit. Bro, take that shit off. <laughs> you can take it off. You got the no. shirt on. You're good. Devin, your neck looks like it's struggling. You're like this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you look like that. Get your hands off me. <laughs> Yo, you look like that kid that falling asleep in class that can keep his head up. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Dude, I want to do that too. Go do it. Go do it. Yeah, I want to do that. Come on, soft. Harder? Come on. Give him a good oh, one. Oh, damn. <laughs> hit him harder. Hit him harder. Give him feel a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Dev, can I hit you? Yeah. Come here. Okay. Hmm? Oh, shit. Oh, let me get you up right now. Okay, okay. Damn, bro, you guys push it. Put your, put your, put your head right here. Side okay. <laughs> yeah, that's a good hit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyways, back to it. You fucked up the helmet. <laughs> why? Why? Why did you come to terms with it? Like, when you were in the military, on deployment. Uh, I guess because you spend a lot of time alone, sort of. Like, when you go, to, you don't have. So my deployments were primarily based on an aircraft carrier, um, amphibious assault carrier sort of deal. So you're in the middle of the ocean. You don't have internet when you're going to bed. If you want to watch something, you someone you have to be lucky enough to have someone airdrop it to you. So Ooh, they were airdropping like porn in the middle. Oh my god! You could really? walk up to any person on that boat and be like, "Hey, send me your porn, Vic. I got you. At least ten videos. Ah, uh, at least. At least. Okay. So what? It's not even like. Pornhub, it's like videos that they have. No, no, it's, no, it's like probably porn up people yeah. downloading videos. Did everyone oh. have like something different? Was that like something you bring with you? Is just like it's a like, burner phone with porn? No, it's no, like it's each like person has like their own specific genre. Yeah. So you go to that person. Yeah. <laughs> is that what it is? Huh? That's what it is? Like yeah. you're feeling some girl on a girl, you go to someone you, for you that. You go to fucking Isaac for that <laughs> shit. And then you go to fucking <laughs> Wyatt for so God. <laughs> 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 maybe, maybe. So like, yo, let me drop this one. It's like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> it's the Amazon this position. You know how it is. <laughs> oh my God. So we had our buddy. So I had a guy named Pardino. And we were all sitting. In, like, we would get into little circles. And we'd all pull our phones out. Like, throw in the airdrop. Uh, hey, who's got butt sex? <laughs> yeah. We'd be like, um, Sarah. Not Sarah. Fucking James. James, you go first. He'll airdrop his videos. He sends them to all of us. We wait a few minutes. Then we go to the next person. My buddy, he was like, dude, I was fucking made for this shit, man. I got fucking 200 videos right here. God he airdrops us 200 Wait, Cynthia, videos. you hit it again. Cynthia, Cynthia, what, Cynthia, what, Cynthia, what the on? fuck are you doing, bro? Oh, dude, it is off a of fuck time. Dude, it's because, can we, can I be further away from Yeah, this? you want us to go down a little yeah. bit that way? So my buddy Alex, he's like, I got 200 videos. We are all waiting. We're sitting there for a fucking hour while he's sending us these videos all over airdrop. <laughs> and like, <laughs> and drops at a time. It's <laughs> fucking heavy, dude. It's an XL. What the Keep fuck? So Devin, you look like you're in pain. I am. And we all open them at once. We're all waiting to get them. Oh my god. And it's oh my giant. god. Circle jerk. 200 videos of not, not thick, 
Not oh, curvy. is it a one genre? It's fat Latinas. <laughs> <laughs> not. I don't mean. I'm not talking thick. I'm not talking curvy. I'm not being fat phobic. I'm talking morbidly obese. <laughs> Two hundred million. <laughs> Two hundred? Two hundred. That is fucking Dude. crazy. Yeah, okay. Can you be honest with me? Did this guy look like somebody who would have two hundred <laughs> videos of he was big a, Latino women? He was like a six foot three, probably about a hundred forty five pound. Oh. Like Mexican dude. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. That yeah, makes sense. Yeah, 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 that makes the math did not add up. But then when he told me how much he spends on cam girls, because you get to know people, he would blow paychecks. So on did cam he tell girls. any of you guys, or he was like, he was like, "Yo, like, I got y'all." No, he was like, "I'm gonna put you on some heat, dog." Oh. And he sent us. He sent the heat. <laughs> <laughs> he did back. How did you guys react? Were you guys were like, "Oh, like," we're like, "Man, what the fuck is this?" And then we deleted it all. Oh, damn. damn. He's like, "Find more for me." <laughs> yes. So, um, I mean, it's like everyone gets clowned on, so it's not a big deal. So everyone yeah, that's like yeah. sharing, like, so are the phones? Are they like burnt, like burner phones or like trap no, phones? Everyone, or like, everyone has their own phones, like their own personal phones. But they just saved everything into their camera roll or something like that. Yeah. Oh. So like they would either screen record or if they had accounts, they would go download them or they would go to like an MP3 downloader, that type of deal. Okay. Like I have a browser on my phone that will let me download anything. So got it, good app. What's up guys? I just wanna give a quick shout out to our sponsors. Um, without our sponsors, we wouldn't be able to bring this podcast to you guys for free on all platforms. Thank you BetterHelp for sponsoring this podcast. People don't always realize that physical symptoms like headaches, teeth grinding, and even digestive issues can be indicators of stress. And let's not forget about doom scrolling, sleeping too little, sleeping too much, under eating, and overeating. Sometimes I feel stressed when schoolwork starts to pile up and due dates are around the corner. And for me, that can really lead to a lack of sleep. Stress shows up in all kinds of ways and in a world that's telling you to do more. Sleep less and grind all the time. Here's your reminder to take care of yourself, do less, and maybe try some therapy. We have talked about therapy before in other podcasts and how much it really can help speaking to a stranger about your problems and being able to get things off your chest that might feel a little too personal to share with the ones around you. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you do not want to it's much more affordable than in-person therapy give it a try and see if online therapy can help lower your stress silver talks listeners get 10 percent off their first month at betterhelp.com slash rancho boys that's b-e-t-t-e-r-h-e-l-p.com slash rancho boys other than that guys i hope you enjoy the rest of this podcast look at this Sage. 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 Hey, is this what you underwent last time? <laughs> it's hard. How heavy is it? Fucking heavy. My head hurts. Yeah, top of my head is on. It's like killing right now. But you can try it. I haven't been this oh, much pain in a long time. My eye like feels like this eyeball's coming out slowly. Next to me, so. Everyone who can we, had Nick, we should always do that like an outfit. Um, outfit check. Yeah. U.S. military, <laughs> baby. Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, would you say that everyone was bringing like? Hello. Would you say why that everyone's bringing like they have in their in their like camera roll? Everyone would have different types of videos, or was it all like one genre and then everyone just shared like their one type of genre to everyone else? No, it was all it was all like unique, pretty much. Okay. Some people some people were wild and they were sending their own sex tapes. Damn. Oh, damn, that's crazy. Yeah, faceless sex tapes. They were just air dropping them. Hey, you know what? If Never mind. <laughs> that would, that would be better for me, honestly. I wouldn't want porn. I would just want my own sex tapes. Yeah, if my face wasn't in it. Like, okay. Yeah, I knew guys who would record like volumes of sex tapes of them and their wives so they could jerk off to them. I have a question. Wait, guys have... Okay, sorry. Yeah, fuck my question. Yeah. Um, Completely... Well, not completely off topic, but like if you were dating somebody... I think we're going to ask the same question. And he was in the military and he... Oh. No, yeah. If you were dating somebody and he was in the military and he was like... Oh, I'm going to deployment, like, blah, blah. I would make a sex tape with him. Would you be cool with that? Would you tell him, like, let's make one? Okay, so I was going to say, like, this guy was, like, <laughs> I was, like, talking to him, and he was, like, saying that he was, like, horny. He was, like, we should make a sex tape. I was, like, what? No. And he was, like, what? You'd rather watch me, or you'd rather have me watch porn to, like, jack off? I was, like, mm, wait. Damn, nice. he hit it on it. He hit it on it. Got you. You. <laughs> you know what perk that is? That's sleight of hand. Yeah. Sleight, sleight of, of hand. hand. You playing the long game. Yeah. Oh, this like, man's a genius. I, I was like, I was write that down. Write that down. Write that down. But yeah, we we made. Oh, because he said that. You made one, Cynthia. Okay, write Damn. that down again. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, I. Mm. There's no way none of y'all have made a fucking sex tape. Right? Have you? No. Really? Okay, what is okay? Sex not tape? like a sex like a video of you having not sex. Not like an hour long. Yeah, no, like, just a video. There's just a video videos of you, of you having sex. Yeah. yeah, you don't need an hour. Yeah. <laughs> I can't last an hour. <laughs> Are you serious? What? I didn't say that. Go. <laughs> no, I know that's that's a fact. <laughs> that's a fact. Why do you know <laughs> that's a fact? Hey, yo, how do you know that's a fact? How do you know that? Hey, no, no, no. no. That's weird, this bro. man hey, nah. literally, he tells me a lot. Wait, I don't know. Nick be in the bathroom for like an hour at a time. Mm. Wait, what does me being in the bathroom have to do? Because if you can jack off for an hour, I don't can... jack off in the bathroom, bro. I don't know about all that. Your showers be taking like an hour and thirty. Who jerks off in the shower? <laughs> what are you, eleven? Jerk off in your bed and let your friends sit in it. <laughs> <laughs> Back to what, what we were talking about. Would you, if your man was going to, the, to war, would mm. you make a sex tape with him? Hell yeah. If you were going to war, would you want a sex tape with your girl? If your man was going to war? <laughs> <laughs> if Devin was going yeah, to war? Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> you didn't have to say much. I'm just going to do it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, back to what we were saying though. Uh, why? So you're saying that you came to terms more to it because... You were saying that you were alone and like what porn wasn't doing it for you? No, no, no. So wh- what I was getting at was because you don't have all these outlets for distractions. Mm. If you can't go to bed, you're just laying in your bed. Thinking. Just thinking. Mm. And then you you start having these dial or monologues, I guess, with yourself. And then mm. it, it's like when you're in the shower and you like argue with someone. Schizophrenia. Yeah, you start having... Devin, yeah. you should know. It was like my straight side and my bisexual side were talking to each other. They were arguing. <laughs> they were throwing hands. It was like the title or Durden of the LGBTQ community. No, I mean, that's all it was. It was oh. just when you're sitting there alone, you start to think. The so wheels start spinning. Are you saying that like if you... Just like looking back, you're, you're saying that if you never joined the military, you never deployed, like you probably would have never come to terms with it since you probably wouldn't have had as much free time to yourself? Uh, Yeah, I think also being... So I was my first place I was stationed was Japan. It was the first time I was alone without like any of my pre-established friends or family. Mm-hmm. So it was I was creating a new life for myself out there for two years. Mm-hmm. So I was able to explore avenues that I I, I, I personally perceived that I couldn't back in Fullerton. Mm-hmm. So, so I, I yes, the military definitely helped with that. Shouts to the military, man. But <laughs> isn't sexuality? Not a choice, though. It's not a choice, but you can definitely. Uh, I, I'm sure a lot of members of the community would argue that they would try and suppress it if they're in a if they're in a situation or uh, an environment where they believe it is not beneficial mm-hmm. or it would be a hostile situation for them. God, mm-hmm. so you're saying that like being out there helped you be more open about it because it w- there wasn't much judgment from other people? Yeah, when I was stationed overseas, that was the first time I ever told someone. Mm. Mm, okay. Did you have a question, Sidi? Yeah, what was your question? I don't think I should ask it. Anymore. Ask it. Is it like a j- is it- <laughs> I'm not asking ask it. it. Did you, are, you asking like, are you asking about like his experiments? Like, did he experiment out there? What is it? Just ask the question. It's like, okay, so it's kind of like what Maru was saying, like, oh, isn't it not a choice? Like, let's say I were to just go to like, in all girls like summer camp like just because i'm like open to that does that mean i would become bisexual more like like how would that change anything for like if i were to experiment if i went to like something like that mm-hmm. wouldn't that mean like i'm already like well uh you're you're going to a girl's summer camp in order to explore it is that what you're saying no it's just <sighs> Or your parents just put you in it yeah like let's if say your I parents just... just put you in it and you experiment while in that situation um, I like to put things in little fun sayings. You gotta suck a dick to know you don't like sucking dick. Yeah. Mm, okay. Son of a bitch. That's like with any other Def- like sex thing. Like you gotta try it once to know. Yeah, try everything once. Mm. Not with that helmet try on. Try everything <laughs> once. Not with that helmet on. Try. No, I'll pass once. on that one. <laughs> okay. So was it like you always felt like you were like bi curious a little bit? Is that what it is? And then when it, you yeah. finally did something, you realize like oh. This is for this is me. No, it definitely took a little bit longer to kind of really come to grips that it wasn't just curiosity. So um, the first time you did something was not the first time you were like, okay, I like this, or like you were just like, okay, maybe it's gonna take some time for me to like it, or like what is what is it? What is the process of that? Uh, the first time was like when you try a nice little chip 
and you eat it and you're like, hmm, I don't know how I feel yeah, about this. Let me have another. Analogies. Let me let me have another chip. And I, I had a few chips until I had the whole bag and I'm like, you know what? I like, I like these chips. I like Lay's. <laughs> they're not, they're not too bad. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you fucking pulled some skin off. Um, like, I'm drunk. How? <laughs> no, no, you're Cynthia. <laughs> yeah. um, I took like four shots. That's all you. Yeah, um, did shots, you guys too. basically ask those questions though? Did you ask your questions, Cynthia? Did you answer? <laughs> okay. I'm going to leave her. Yeah, she would. <laughs> I took a lot of shots. <laughs> What the fuck? Is, uh, Guys, my happen? head fucking hurts. How was your like experience being bisexual in high school? It was weird. I remember there was one defining moment that made me like cement that I was gonna hide it for a long time. I remember so vividly. I was in fucking math class, and this girl I had a crush on was sitting in front of me. She was talking to one of her friends next to her, and they were like, "Hey, did you know this person's bi?" And they were like, "Ah, oh, gross." Oh, and they were, damn. they were like, "Yeah, that's so." Oh my god, he has sex with men, and I'm like. What <laughs> no looks like I'm closeted. Way. That's just like a handful of people, though. Well, it's also like high school yeah, ignorance. High school. People but high school yeah. back then, especially like people were very oh homophobic. Oh, oh yeah. very for sure. Homophobic. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy how like fast everything changed. Mm -hmm. I'm also I'm I'm painting myself out to be a good guy. I was also fucking homophobic in high school. Oh. Like everyone was. I wasn't. I think, I think a lot of people were. A lot of Whether or not they were directly homophobic, like gay people are going to hell, or they were using uh, verbiage that they shouldn't. No, like, don't worry. I went to a Republican all white high school. Like, it hell, was brother, just yeah. How it was. Yeah. How, wait, how were yeah. you? How were you homophobic in high school, though? Yeah, I was gonna ask that. Uh, Great mind tickling. I I think about it like I was I was closeted. I was very insecure about it. I was in denial about it, and I was lashing out back at the community per se. Like I was using words that I shouldn't. I was mm. thinking things about the community as a whole, looking looking at only the bad parts of it and identifying the whole community as such. So I- It's I, more like it was because of the denial. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, I was gonna ask you, is it because you like- you denied Yeah, it, it? it was because I, I didn't want to be it. So I was homophobic in turn. Internalized homophobia. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Were you trying to like convince yourself that you weren't, or were you just trying to be like, I, I can't let anybody know this, or like, mm, what was, was it more of? I was I was trying to convince myself that I wasn't, which is ironic yeah. because I was still going out and having sex with dudes, and I'm like, I'm not bi. Yeah. It, so what was going on? What was going on in your mind like when that was happening though? Like how how can you be thinking that you're not this, but also doing stuff that cements that you kind of. Ah uh, yes, yes. That was because it was a forty I or forty IQ high schooler who mm. was just in denial about it. Mm. Gotcha. You. When you're in denial about something, your your perception changes about it. So I was I was doing anything in my power to fit the narrative, no matter what I was doing. What are you laughing I at? Don't to <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. No, you went off the ESPN. Yes, you went off at the right time. Oh, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Oh, I, thought that was, I thought that was a car horn. No, that no? was ESPN. Okay. That was funny. That was a top 10 play, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. You know how we're talking about, like, people that usually, like, are gay themselves? A lot of them, like, try to, like, what is that? Try to really hate gay people. Like, you know, people that are, like, super against gay people and, like, like hate homophobic, them. Like, like super homophobic. Super homophobic. Yeah. Would you say that those people are closeted and they're trying to... I, I've... Maybe I'm just using empirical evidence here, but I knew a guy on deployment, the most homophobic dude I've ever met. He'd be like, I'm not like actually homophobic, but he would say the F slur all the time, like once a sentence, like he was in, in that regard, maybe not real, but still bad. And turns out he was. Damn. Yeah. And I would be like, oh, you're just, you're projecting, bro. You're obviously, he's like, no, no, absolutely not. I'm, I, I'm not an F word. But they're all right in my book. Did you did you know that he, did you know that he was though? Like when he was being before he came out, did you know that he was? No, I was just guessing. Got you. And then I guessed correctly. Yeah, I was just gonna say like I had this friend in high school. She was a girl, mm -hmm. but like we also had this friend who was a guy. He was gay, and like we were like super close, and like they were like super close, and so like eventually like she came out and like said that she was bi, and like. After she said that, she would be like throwing out like the F slur and just like, just like throwing it out because she thought like she had like the right to. But then like now she's like 
this like born again republican like she's homophobic like it's oh, not even oh damn yeah oh, really yeah so like i feel like it can, i was gonna say like maybe it can go both ways like you're so homophobic that like or like you're gay but you're homophobic or you're not gay but you're homophobic but like you try to make it seem like you're not homophobic god damn my I brain hurts sense. like extreme is what you're saying we're going inception levels of homophobia yeah, yeah. homophobia within no. homophobia <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear anything. Leo's on level three right now saying the F word. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I feel like homophobia <laughs> is like. You <laughs> with it? Homophobia. <laughs> so I don't get it. It's part of his session, like a dream inside a dream. Oh. <laughs> 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 Sorry, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I don't know. Just homophobia has a lot of like levels to it. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Hell yeah. A lot. It's like it has to do a lot with like how you're raised. Like mm -hmm. you could not even like be like fucking like aware of it you know yeah facts. that you're like homophobic about homophobia yeah like type shit it's especially crazy. like especially in high school like i remember moments in high school where like like playing on the soccer team and stuff like that and we would see like like a, like one of the like we knew that this guy was gay or something like that running like cross country or track and then everyone would just be like calling him the yeah. f like just the and, and to us and like to the to, i feel like when you're in high school you want to say that so that everyone makes sure that you're not that you know yeah. because so it's always like Oh, if you're the guy that's not making fun of him, like, you are. You have to, you have to yeah. be like on some level. You have to be part of like the LGBTQ community. Like, why? Why are you not making fun of him? You get what I mean? And it's so bad. Also, so guys, tough. like a guy hey. team, like sports team. Yeah, it'll like, happen a lot. High school, yeah. high school sports teams or like homophobia is the most toxic thing you'll come yeah. across. Yeah, yeah, like, for sure. It, it's insane. It's scary. Like looking back at it, like it's like it's scary. It, yeah, it's scary and yeah. it's like disgusting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, for sure. How would you say like being bisexual has affected like relationships with you? Or would you say it has like a direct effect if it does at all? I would argue it hasn't. It hasn't really had an effect on me. Um, I've never been in a relationship with a guy. Um, I, I'm, I, I'm much more picky mm -hmm. about if I were to date a guy. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I, I've, every girl I've ever been with has been super cool with it. We've we've shared funny stories and experiences, um, and yeah, it, 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 I would argue it hasn't. Or have you ever thought about dating a guy? Yeah, I've thought about it, and I don't know, I might, but I'm also in a happy relationship right now. Like yeah. I mm -hmm. might, yeah. Yeah, 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 if I was in the situation, like a single situation, like Ryan Reynolds, in a heartbeat. Do you guys think that girls care if like oh, no, guys are bisexual? The way we're like connected right now. Oh God. Oh God. It's because your moon is aligned with the sun. No, my stars so are aligned with the moon. <laughs> but um, what do, what do you think, Moni? Like, what's your take on that? Like, do you think girls care if like a guy's bisexual? Yeah. Like, I, in what type of way though? Like, they're kind of like looking at him like, mm. ooh, like that's like that's kind of weird, or in a way like, oh, like. Mm, like, I know girls that do care that if they're bisexual, they're like, ooh, I don't know if I fuck with that. Reason being because. Like what? What? What's usually the reasoning behind it? Um, you know what? I just know girls. There's some girls. A lot of girls care about that, but I don't know what the reason is. I don't care. Um, I've dated a bi guy. Not like dated, but I've gone out with a bi guy. Do you know like what a usual like girls' reasoning is behind that though? Like why they wouldn't? Why they wouldn't? Yeah, yeah. of course. Like a lot of girls like want like their man to be like the hyper masculine one or like they want to feel like oh like they're like the feminine one you know mm -hmm. it's like just how it is or fucking internalized homophobia or like maybe the girl feels like they're just like too i don't know like girls just want to feel like feminine around the guy maybe they think mm -hmm. it's like feminine of the guy to be like bi you know mm -hmm. but i feel like i mean there's like gay people and like bi people that like act like okay that's mm, act like pretty like masculine mm -hmm. so it's not like that would be the case yeah like i think wyatt acts pretty masculine yeah. okay but even sense. if you're acting masculine like someone's breathing into the mic and it's throwing me off i think it's Devin. <laughs> it's other Devin or Sage. <laughs> they got <a> helmet <laughs> Do you just crushing my head? Okay, wait. What, sorry, what's the question? It was just like, uh, do do you think that a lot of girls, most girls, some like most girls or a lot of girls, do you think that they do care if a guy is bisexual? Okay, I think most girls care, but 
most girls would say they don't care. Mm, and you know you're saying, mean? but you're saying it, it like, in your opinion, it probably comes back to the fact that a lot of girls want to be the feminine one and want their man to be this super masculine straight guy. Maybe, or like I said, it's just homophobia, like, mm -hmm. you know, or maybe because, I don't know, maybe the girl's insecure, so he thinks, or she thinks like, now I gotta worry about guys exactly. and girls type of thing. You gotta take the helmet off? Yeah, that's too much. You're sweating, my way. I do gotta go no, pee, I'm though. No, I'm sweating. I just, like, hey, my fucking eyes hurt. You're good. Um, <laughs> Mirror hat. You're switching hats with them. Yes. Oh, Operation. Why? Operation uh, Northwoods. <laughs> go. Operation Northwoods, where the United States government planned a false flag op your operation to bomb, I believe it was Miami, so we could instigate a war with Cuba. Tough. Why? Blitzkrieg, go. Blitzkrieg, German lightning warfare during World War II. Wyatt, the assassination of uh, Archduke Franz Archduke Ferdinand. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know what I was going to say. Assassination by a by Serbian choice, choice. terrorist group called the Black Hand that murdered the Austro-Hungarian Archduke Franz Ferdinand. Wyatt, who did 9-11? <laughs> How'd Hitler die? All I'm saying is they announced... Three billion missing dollars. I think it might have been a lot of money missing, and then why is Tupac in Cuba? It? Tupac is definitely not in Cuba. He's in Argentina. Oh, he's alive and well. Damn. I saw him working at the DMV. Next question. Uh, Sage, just tap in when he's over here. Um, did you ever have like negative thoughts about coming out to like us that you were bisexual? Onesies and twosies of you. Um, like maybe one or two of you. Can I tell the story when you told me at my house? What story? Um, the day you opened up to me at my house. Which, wait, who? You. It was, yeah, like, you pulled me into the room first to tell me. And oh, then yeah, you're you can like, tell that story. Go I tell everybody? So, I, Devin was the first of you, I told you. Yeah, Damn. so um, remember we all Sad. went to my house for like, uh, I think it was it Owen's party? Or? Owen wasn't there. No. I don't know. No, no, no. no. Um, it, was just, it was just, we were just at your crib. Yeah, so um, it was, was it like. When, it wasn't the day me and Maru pulled up after? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We right? told him. We yeah. told him. So um, he called me into the room and uh, he was like, yo, like, I really need to tell you something. And I'm first, very whiskey drunk at this point. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> so um, you like pulled me into the room and you're like, yo, like, I need to tell you something. And I was like, what's up? And at first I thought you were joking because you always make stupid jokes. So you're like, like, yo, like, I'm bisexual. And I was like, cool. Where's the punchline? Yeah, and then, then you're like you're like yo like that i'm bisexual like that's it and i was like good for you dude like hell yeah, yeah. and like i like gave him a little hug and he was like that's it yeah you <laughs> wanted a reaction out of I, had, I wanted a re i was drunk i was looking for a reaction i'm not even gonna lie i was the next question was like how did you like how do you think we handled it because we all were just like we don't care i come from a family with yeah. three gunkles yeah. so like him yeah, telling me that i was like good, good for you well when i say i was looking for a reaction it was more because i had built up like how hard it is oh, to say okay. it to you guys i was like it was really that easy like what do you no, mean? The first thing you said you're like that's it it was <laughs> also like we wanted to make it easy for you because we genuinely that's... like you know we like, don't care yeah we de genuinely yeah. don't care it was a like, very yeah. painless process yeah. thank you for that guys See, so you. would you are you like happy the way we handled it where we were all like because like literally bro when you told me i literally looked you in the eyes and i was like i don't care <laughs> yeah, no i'm not trying to be a dick and i was yeah. like i don't care like, like i still love change you, the same. you like yeah you know were you like yeah. looking or were you like looking for us to be like oh like we're proud of you blah, blah, blah. no no i wasn't looking for anything okay. like that i think okay. that i wouldn't want that either. No, yeah would you have felt more weird that. if we like we did that i mean yes uh, i would have felt very weirdly about it mm, yeah if you're like Wyatt, i'm so proud of you let me give you a hug yeah we're yeah we, were, we just moved on with our lives we really like, huh. yeah. but actually though for me like i was pretty surprised i had no idea like i feel like some of us like kind of had like a little bit of an idea but like when you told me, I was like, "Whoa!" I was not expecting that. Did any of you have an idea? I knew. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> Wait, how did you know? How did you know? I have the crazy I stories. With, oh, that's fair. I grew up with my cousin being gay. Like he always knew he was gay, and we always knew he was gay since he was like super little. So like, when I saw like your not demeanor, but like no, Sage, oh, we were talking about this once. Like I, we grow up like with gay friends, like gay people around us. Like yeah. eh, you can tell it's yeah. a gaydar. <laughs> gaydar. Yeah. Gaydar. But, um, I thought you give off like no, super like you know. Also I mean? because like you that. told me you literally you t like you told me. All yeah, it was the things you would tell me, and then sometimes like how we just talked about that, that like you act really manly. You know what I mean? You would do that sometimes, and sometimes I'd be like kind of hinting at it. Damn, you guys must have been scoping this guy out. I had no, no fucking like, clue. I had no idea. I've been quiet for a long time. No, like I've I, known I, I was well over a decade. So yeah. 
it, it was bound to slip eventually. Yeah. 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 I never like assumed it, but it was always like a little like he he might be. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I think I would have handled it like the same way if like anyone else would have told me to. I think it literally was the same thing. Just like I don't care. Like we're, oh, yeah. we're we're not friends because you're fucking straight and you like girls. Like <laughs> yeah. that's literally not why. Yeah. You know, like we're not like we're not. <laughs> you're gonna crush <laughs> puss with me, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, like that's not why we're friends. No like, we're bitches. Friends, and, uh, no you get what I mean? How you yeah. buying got no bitches? <laughs> 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 but yeah okay i'm happy to hear that though because like because we were all because <laughs> we were all we all had a couple drinks too that night and like i just want to make sure i never asked you but like i just want to make sure that i just like, thought the no, initial reaction was hilarious because all i said was good for you man i built it up so much That's in my it? head i was what? like that was it was that easy why did i wait were you expecting us to be like ooh? What were like you that? expecting? yeah like what were you expecting uh in my drunken mind i really couldn't tell you um I, I was expecting um, at least one person. I, I couldn't really put a finger on who, nah, but nah. I was expecting one person to be like, well, that's kind of weird. Like what? not not, be, not not supportive, but be like confused. Yeah, maybe like a like confusion thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like say like, like why? I thrown off about it. That's uh, the yeah, better. Yeah. Okay, okay, makes sense. Yeah. Was there ever like a time that you wanted to tell us, but you you didn't or you like got cold feet? Oh, plenty of times. Could I could I explain? Do you remember when it was that night with me and you, and we were like, well, "Oh, you probably don't remember." Oh, oh you told me. Do you remember? Night. Feel free to call it out. Um, Send it. When we, oh, wait, I can't put that in there though. Just, well, remember, we were up late. Just say, "Remember when we were up late?" We were up late. Very really up late, and that then you, and then and then you you told me. I, I I don't think you told anybody else because you told me not to tell anybody else. I have and no I recollection of that. Wait, really? what did he tell you? You did tell me this before. Yeah, that I did it was tell before you. Before you left. Oh yeah, I guess he, Sage knew first. <laughs> Wait, what? What do you say? Like, what do you say? He just what told me he's like, "Hey man, I'm like bisexual." And I was like, "You think I would care differently if you were bisexual or not?" Like, it's so I cringy for me. I don't like this. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, that's how it went. Because you I don't mean, remember it. Was, yeah, it, it no, was just like that was basically how it went. And I was like, "No, dude, I don't fucking care." And sorry, it's man. Like, that was my ringtone. Wait, why'd you say sorry? That was you. Because it was my. It was my. Oh. oh, um. Do you have like any like was it just like any time we were all hanging out and having a good time you just were like damn I should really say it right now but no no but there were a couple yeah I mean I'm sure there's been like oh, maybe I should tell the like ex- maybe I've been telling a story or two uh, uh, yeah. maybe about Thailand mm. and I've been like I I land of sin. that's the one that got me yeah, I can take this, I can take this Here, one right. step further. And then I I backed off. <laughs> you told that as soon as we all like started doing the videos and you backed off for a really long yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it's because everybody was thrown off. Yeah, like nobody, nobody no, knew what was, was going so on because blue. you said like you know what I mean. You were trying to back it up, and I was like, it's nothing. There's nothing really yeah. wrong with it, but nothing wrong with it at all. But like yeah, at, at that time, we, nobody was knowing but anything. Then, like I, that. I did use the Thailand uh, with a lot of my friends. Just dip your toe in, t- especially yeah. on the yeah. appointment. That was why I kept it. I'd like I never told anyone on the yeah. appointment except for my very small group of friends. Mm. But when I I. You know what? I shotgun blasted that story out. It was not very positively received. It's a story I'm not going to tell you guys. What? I was going to say, was, do you want to tell them the Thailand story? Because I'm confused. Didn't he mention it on a, like a Didn't super early podcast? Was, like yeah. early podcast days. I don't yeah, think so. Remember? I yeah, haven't told that yeah, story. Is that, is that the round table at the Rancho House? I yeah. definitely didn't tell the story. I, I told you guys, just not on camera. Oh, you're oh, not putting yeah. it in? Oh, yeah, okay, we're not okay, putting okay, it in. Okay, okay, um, yeah. But there's a story in Thailand that is very ambiguous towards my sexuality. And I always use that to just, you know, I, I put oh, it out I there. Dip your toe in. I dip my little toe in the water. And then if it's not positively received, I am not, uh, mm-hmm. I am not saying anything. But like, even, even like when he told us, I was just like, cause we hadn't known you for so long when you told us that. I think that's why we all kind of were just like, what? You get what I mean? Like, yeah. I feel like if we know that was like one of the first times I met was, you. Yeah, guys. That, was, yeah. that was pretty early within our yeah. friendship. Yeah. That's also why I fucked with you heavy though. Cause you were just what? so open. That's literally the first time I that was the first time you met, met you. Him. Yeah. I'm yeah <laughs> okay I don't know if you want this in but like even when you told us that story it was maybe you shouldn't put this in, but you're like talking about how she was like transgender yeah yeah you and can keep that in you're like yeah like dude like, she was a girl like I was like yeah like she's a girl with a cock yeah <laughs> <laughs> enough about bussy we're talking about gawk yeah, but like you were saying like she's a girl with a cock I was like well yeah come with this shit bro <laughs> a lot of memes. yeah I remember I remember him like you were also I remember like you were kind of like trying to justify it being yeah, a girl yeah. too though 
I oh, think that, that's the part where like I kind of assumed because you were trying really hard to justify it when in reality there was no problem at all. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's why when I tell you like I had that little like feeling is because you tried really hard to justify it and when in reality I was like okay I, yeah. like yeah, yeah. so what you know mm -hmm. what I mean yeah yeah. Um, why did it take you so long to tell us? Like why didn't you want to tell us like? I mean, because you could have told us before you went on deployment. No, he just wasn't ready. Yeah, as well, is that why? Yeah, I mean, I hadn't spent as much, like... So so when I told my original friends in Japan, my friends um, that I was on deployment with, it's because when I was in Japan, I was in such close quarters with them. I was hanging out with them every day. We lived in the same building on the same floor. Like, I would see them all the time. Uh, you guys, You guys were still my really good friends, but I would only see you once or twice a week mm -hmm. and we would go mm -hmm. out and party and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So I, I just didn't have that established real close, close relationship to the point where it was like, you know what I mean? I don't know if you, you, up to you to put this in, but it might be a little personal. Have you told Julie and Owen and all them yet? Uh, I haven't told Owen. I think Owen knows. Um, wait, I thought you told Owen. I was no, I tried calling that. him that night, the night I told you guys, but he didn't answer. Well, this probably, mm. I'm just going to post this. And he's just gonna see this? Maybe this is how Owen knows. Send the link. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Nah, bro. He's not gonna care. Well, I don't wanna like call oh, him yeah, just not gonna no care. context. Yeah, why not? Because it's also not a big, it's not really a big deal for me anymore to tell anyone. Yeah. I feel like Owen's gonna be like, he's gonna be like, I already knew. Yeah. <laughs> he might, uh, yeah, he might just say that, yeah. My mom already knew because she caught me in high school. That's a whole story into itself. Caught you doing what? Yeah, you know what? I was in high school. Yeah. I was this is a story. <laughs> so, I was on Grinder, and I met up with in a guy school. in high school. What what grade are we talking, boy? Uh, I was probably like a, a senior. Okay. Yeah, I was eighteen at the time. I went up. I met. Or I met up with this dude. Things happened. I wasn't driving at the time. Um, like there was something wrong with my car. I got a lift back. My mom saw the lift thing. And was like, you weren't with like a friend. A friend would have drove you. I know your friend has a car. And then she was like, let me see your phone. She looked through my phone. She found the app and she knew. So, uh, you know, I, I don't know if my mom thought it was just an experience or if she knows, but I, I'm confident she knows. You guys never talked about it though after that? It was kind of just like something that was thrown underneath the rug? It was, it was, she was, I mean, we talked about it over the course of like the next 24 to 48 hours about, you shouldn't be meeting up with strangers online, like all this, all that. Um, but we never really talked about the 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 elephant in the room, the sexuality of it. Mm -hmm. uh, I I think she might have been like, oh, like I totally support you. Like mm -hmm. if you're cool with that, I'm just pissed that you, the act you did of meeting up with someone online and stuff like that. Yeah, my mother always knows though. Yeah. 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 For sure. Yeah. And if my mom doesn't know, and if this is how she finds out, she I'm beyond confident she would support me. Yeah, oh, most definitely. Fucking love your mom. Um, But I also remember you were telling us, like, the other night when you were talking about this, didn't you also say that, that kind of also contributed to you being homophobic or something like that? Because it kind of made... Didn't you say, like, it was something like it kind of made you feel ashamed? Yeah, you know, because it just happened so fast where my um, parents found out. Like, I thought they would be ashamed... And I was, um, I, I was very homophobic after that. That's where it really began, because mm. I got punished, like for the whole thing. And you kind of related it back. Not, it wasn't. You weren't getting punished for meeting up with a stranger. You were thinking that you were getting punished for. It. Mm. Well, no, I guess yeah, was, that's what. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what partially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had yeah. also not really, like, my uncle was gay, but like I, we we had never really had a talk about homosexuality or anything mm -hmm. like that. So I just I perceived that I was also in trouble. Or I was something to be ashamed of because mm. I didn't have any of those influences around me. So I lashed out. So at the time, basically, you were like thinking that she punished you for being gay, but really she was just looking out for you. But now you see that. And that's when you I thought it was, was I thought it was that. both. Yeah. I thought mm. it was both. And I couldn't lash out at my mom for fucking punishing me for doing or because I met up with someone. Mm hmm. I could lash out and be homophobic because she punished me for being with another man, even though that wasn't why she punished me. Yeah, I just want to exactly. make that clear. I love my mom, but yeah, it was just you were like thinking more into it. I mm -hmm. yeah, I was I was going way past. 
Um, would you say like there's a lot of like closeted LGBTQ members in the military? Probably. I I would very much say closeted by curious people in the military. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Did anyone like suspect you of being it? Like, did anyone like call you out ever? I was on. So when I was on deployment, um, there was a girl I was really into, and she was into all my friends because I had a buddy who looked like a le- dude was legitimately a ten out of ten. Handsome like, Squidward. Yeah, like that's that's the statement. That's a guy. I'm talking like two percent body fat. His abs had abs. Like Jesus Christ. Yeah, kind of sounds like me. Yeah, it sounds like me. Yeah, it sounds like Nick. That's crazy. It was Nick. Um, <laughs> it was. Nick. She was super into that guy, and we were. Uh, I I think I said something like, "Oh, dude, I would get with that girl" or something like that. Wait, and you said no. You said you. Would I get- I had mentioned to my oh, friends okay, around okay, me like, okay. "Dude, I want to fuck that girl." That sort oh, of thing, okay. and. They relayed that back to her, and they were like, Miller? I'm pretty sure he's gay. Oh, And damn. then that got back to me, and I was like, oh, that's incredible. Dead ass. Damn. Yeah. Dude, were you like, damn, like, what could I have done that would make her suspect that? Did you know her? Like, did you guys talk or anything like that? Or We never talked. Like, we were damn. trying to get together. But, like, we, we worked together. Uh-huh. Mm, okay. So. Did you ever talk to her after that? No, no, we never talked about that. We still snap like all the time. Like Mm -hmm. we're friends, but she definitely thought I was gay. And you never like hit her up again and said like, yo, no, like blah, blah, blah. Or do you ever? No, I never set the record straight or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I just wallowed in my sadness that I was not going to get the girl. (laughs) Well, that stopped you though. Because you're you're a biker. You're just, you're bisexual. Well, she does. She. Oh, because she thought it was just like, you were just that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Would you say that uh, there is like a lot of people that get mistreated that are part of like the LGBTQ community in the military that you have come across at all? I hear lots of stories, but I've never, you know, maybe one time in Japan, some guy yelled the F word or the F slur at mm-hmm. a member of the Navy at like a party and when everyone's drunk, mm-hmm. maybe someone's done something like that. But all I ever hear is stories about it. Like you hear, everyone hears the stories about how they're, uh, mistreated or they're bullied or mm-hmm. hazed or something like that. I've never witnessed it personally. Actually, this past weekend, some guy that I used to work with, he hit me up on um, he hit me up on Steam. Uh, I don't know what that is. Steam's it's like a PC gaming. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah he like messaged me. He thought I was someone else, and he was like, "Hey, fuck you, F slur, all this, all that." I'm like. And then he said the person's name. I'm like, it was his old roommate. I'm like, nope, this isn't him. This is Miller. I'm like, LOL, I'll relay the message to the guy. Because, <laughs> like, we were all good friends. Uh-huh. Like, it yeah, was yeah, in yeah. a joking manner. And he was like, oh, my God, Miller, Miller. He's out of the military by now. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And he was like, I heard about all the gay shit you did, you F and F slur. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, you're a, and you're an ordained minister. How fucked out disrespectful. You effing F. I'm like, what? oh my god, Jesus! Jeez. That's the only oh time god. anyone's ever like Jesus. directly tried to be malicious about it. Damn! I thought that was really funny, actually. That is. Why are you rubbing my thigh like no, that, dog? I'm trying to crack my knee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally trying to crack my knee right now. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. Like, arrested. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. I came that's crazy. You, you, that's, you were that's, like, yeah. that's like you're a. Like, oh no, I was like this. So. Hmm. Yeah, but that was a weird that's experience. Weird. That was the first yeah, time. That's super weird. I saw it and I was like, oh. It's real. Yeah. Oh, he like 100% meant that. Yeah. Well, I mean, wait, was it like over? Was it like over? Yeah, chat it's over yeah, chat it was over like so that's, that's he, t- hard he typed this shit out and Damn. said that. Yeah. See, but if you bring up the war day minister part, he probably definitely meant that. But it's like, why even? Like, say no, that. Why go out of your way to say that? This is a yeah, very, like, very white man, and he was throwing out the n word. He was saying a bunch of stuff. Damn. Well, okay. That guy's fucking weird. I can't believe you typed that out though. That's I know so, that's what I'm saying. Like you have to literally type it out, read, read it, it and be like, read it and be yep. like, yeah. Send. This yeah. is yeah. it. This yeah. is it. Check in for like grammar yeah. issues too, like periods and commas. Proof read it. Was yeah. it. Were there periods and commas in there? No, Dashes. he's very drunk. Oh, Apostrophes. Okay. Just, yeah, but it's like, like it why would you send that o- like over text? Is there a semicolon? There were no semicolons. Got it, got it. Mm-hmm. But it's like I could just screenshot this and I could send this to like any to employer of yours. It's like you have your name and your fucking Steam profile, dog. You should. This is easy. I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't. Um, He'll get his karma. Yeah, car- karma is real. I don't want to be. Karma is real. You know what's weird? Uh, I, don't I don't like don't, cancel culture or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, I so. don't believe in a lot of things. Like I like even even like like religion and stuff like that. I believe in like a higher being. But the one thing I do believe in is karma. 
Like I literally, I literally believe that if you do something bad, oh yeah, for like sure. when I stub my toe, I'm like, damn, what did I do? And I look back. Oh, and that must be for cutting that I just punch bitch off. Out of that corner, <laughs> something like that. What did you say? What? I just punch. I get really mad at it. So if I stub my toe, I'm getting fucking mad. You punch the you corner. Punch your toe. Mm. Punch karma. <laughs> <laughs> Fucker. <Punch> you <laughs> ass. Get away from me. Um, why? I look. You have like one more question, and then that's it. We can basically wrap it up. Or unless, yeah. and then we can. Uh, if you guys want to ask any questions, you guys can afterwards. Can I but, pee first? Huh? I gotta pee real bad. Can I oh, pee first? Yeah. Pee. Wyatt, last question of the night, for at least on my end. Um, did you ever like travel to places that were like, where like, what is it? Uh, being gay or something like that was banned or like illegal or it w- might have been unsafe if you were? Like against the cultural norms. Against the cultural norms. Uh, I Don't fucking quote me on this, but um, Bahrain and... Korea. <laughs> Asia, yeah, definitely. Kind of. No, nah, Asia's homophobic as fuck. There's like very They're little gay celebrities like on TV that you see. Surprisingly Asia though. Was, Asia was Korea racist as fuck. Huh? Asia is? Korea was, Korea specifically really? was yeah. racist as fuck. But yeah. I didn't experience any homophobia. Towards? Towards black people. We walked into a bar one time with a black guy. They yelled something in Korean and we had a Korean interpreter with us. And she was like, all right, guys, we got to go. No, she, they probably called him the N word in Korean. People yeah, do no, that. they said get the or get that N word out yeah, of here. Yeah, yeah. We're oh. like, well, next what? bar. Even in South Korea, and you're saying South Korea? That was in Seoul, Dude, South Korea. Yeah. That what? was in Seoul. That was in the Seoul. I thought you said we, I'm Mexican. Will I last out there? Yeah, well, I last out there. You'll be fine. Even when I go there, I get weird stares. Like when people yeah, didn't yeah. know I was Korean, I'd just be speaking English with my sister. Yeah. Like people would say shit all the time. Like, it's literally dude, fine though it's literally guys, fine trust me we're going this summer like period. they're koreans all they're gonna do is talk shit like they're not gonna come up to you and be like but i never experienced nothing like that though i feel like japan was very accessible oh, you, you could speak english to anyone and they were so fucking nice oh, about so it they're very more they're like a lot more like welcoming they japan. were oh yeah japan was so fucking welcoming i was in kyoto didn't know a fucking lick of japanese and i would just go up to people i would ask a question be like hey where's this where's this shrine where's this you guys know my like, mom's fluent in japanese they'd get me there I think you did mention that. That is oh, cool. I did. Yeah. Just one, cool. more, one more reason why I love it. I, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, did you get her flowers for Mother's Day? Huh? Did you Did you get her mom yeah, flowers for Mother's fuck? Day? I bought my mom hundred fifty dollars worth of sushi. Listen, what did you do? Listen. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Remember but what my sister said? Flowers go a long way. I'm Period. definitely scared of your father, though. So. It was <laughs> get flowers for my I'm not, I'm, dad. I got flowers for your mom's though. Oh, yeah, your don't dad get flowers for my dad. I'm I, kidding. Don't yeah. fucking. <laughs> yeah. Um, but besides, wait, I'm actually I'm actually surprised. I didn't know South Korea was like that racist. Yeah, you said we'd have a blast out there. Now, now I'm concerned. <laughs> I'm no. saying guess it having a blast. I think they're they're more homophobic than racist now. I've never experienced it, but I wasn't when, at least when I was in Kyoto and Seoul, I wasn't doing those things, so I never really experienced it. Okay. Um, yeah, it's also not very popular out in Bahrain and Djibouti. Djibouti. Where's Djibouti? It's Djibouti. Eastern Africa. Eastern Africa. Where's Djibouti? <laughs> It's right here. <laughs> Did you take your fucking pants off? No, I'm wearing shorts, bro. <laughs> your shirt's just a double XL, I'm a fucking <laughs> medium large. No, we're all naked. Right He's now. got wise oversized yeah, tee on right bro. now. <laughs> oh, he folded up like five times for me because it was hanging so low. Even the sleeves too, bro. Yeah, they're the folded. double. They're <laughs> twice. Um, but you're saying it's in the Middle East, or at least when you were in the Middle East, it would, they were more so like it was. A it wasn't as popular. Okay. There were still. Uh, I mean, there were trans women out there trans sex workers especially in bahrain but i no one was really that homophobic out there it's just not it's not as prevalent it's not as predominant okay um or dominant i guess how has how has your life changed now that you've told basically almost everyone that you're bisexual has it really changed at all uh has anyone ever taken has anyone taken the wrong way yet no no, it's been very great because now I can tell you all the fucked up stories. <laughs> tell you all, a whole a whole treasure trove that's just been a, a secret vault. Literally, right before Wyatt uh, left for deployment, when I gave him his last hug, he hugged me. He's like, "Just wait till I come back after deployment." I was like, "Why?" He's like, puts his hand on my shoulder. He's like, "Do I got stories for your kid?" And I was like, "Damn." It was like I'll when, fucking uh, wait for you, boy. It was like yeah. when uh, and Andy I dropped Woody for the last time, huh? Yeah, he's like, yeah. "I don't want to play." Wait. 
No, no that no, wasn't the last, the last time. time. <laughs> <laughs> when he donated him. I th- remember? <laughs> who's who's Andy in this situation? Oh my god. It's pretty mean? obvious, Nick. <laughs> am I Andy? No, am I Woody? <laughs> Wait, who's You got the analogy, right? That's like gotcha. I did, I don't get it. That's just pass by it. That's okay. just act like you never have it. I don't understand it. Um other than that yes, though, guys, like that's all the questions I got for the man. If anyone else got anything else to ask or add on? Um, no. I think they're just um, kind of just be playing on to everything. I think everything is pretty much answered. Um, I have one question. So how does it feel to be a sailor? I'm not even going <laughs> to fucking entertain that. Get out of here. What do you mean? I would rather you call me the F slur than a sailor. Oh I don't get it. God. Well. Because I'm not a fucking sailor, dog. I thought you were. All right. Wait, are you not? You're no, I'm a fucking dog. marine. No, you're no. not, bro. He's a marine. He's Pog. a sailor. That's the worst. When you're a marine, too. Oh, he's pissed. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so pissed right when now. You're a marine. Uh, did you ask one to I don't. Cynthia? Shave his belly with a rusty razor. Shave his belly with a rusty razor. Shave his belly with a rusty <laughs> razor. Right, with a rusty razor. Or lie in the hole. Way up she rides his way. The name of the ship was, was the Billy of T. What? I don't know. <laughs> How'd you get every word of that oh, wrong? <laughs> uh, the weatherman comes to bring <laughs> the sugar and tea and rum. Soon may the weatherman come to bring a ship in tow. <laughs> Something like that. Um, other than that, though, guys, thank you, Wyatt, so much for sharing. Hopefully, like I said, uh, some of you guys can get some insight on what's going on. Um, don't be scared to come out to your friends. Yeah, wait. I was, do you want to? You want to end on a good note? Like I was ending it on a good no, note. But no, no. Just I'm, fucking but, interrupted me. I'm talking to the man of the no, hour. No, that's cool. It's not like I was asking, talking to people or anything. Go I'm ahead. saying, does he have any advice for people who may be <laughs> like, dude, Devin? That's what I was gonna ask. Mm. That may yes. be afraid to open up some advice you have yeah. for those youngins out of your experience dude i feel like unless you're living in the deep south or something like that or in a just super super i mean not even a republican er- or area if so what if they are it, it honestly from my experience even my republican friends because i'm in the military and all my friends are from all across the country all different walks of life people our age in the 18 to fucking 30s at this point they are very accepting even if worst case scenario i've encountered even if they aren't necessarily supportive i i think for the most part we can generalize that they would be ex- accepting like and of who you know you what are. even if they're not then, then those people them. don't deserve to That's be in your lives yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah people come and go and if they're not going to support your lifestyle for any reason whatsoever. Yeah. Like life's too short. Fuck. Yeah, they're yeah. not worth it. Don't change for nobody. I had yeah. to cut off a of fucking one of my best friends who oh yeah, you know what? I did tell a guy and he was very much not supportive. Really? Wow. Yeah, we had been friends since probably like kindergarten. Cut him off. Really? Just like that. How do you react? Or like how did it come up that you told him and how do you react? You know what? I think I told him a few or like mm, probably like before I joined the military, so like a few years ago. Mm-hmm. Then I remember being in Japan, we were playing a video game. And I, I said something about like, yeah, I'm bi or like just a prod, like make a joke. Mm-hmm. And he was like, oh, that's cool. Just don't talk about it around me. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, oh, okay. And then I told a few more jokes about it because I just wanted to salt in the yeah, wound, yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Quiet Wait. thing to do. <laughs> Very quiet thing to do. <laughs> um, and then after we ended the call that night, I just blocked him on everything. Good. Cut him off. Yeah. yeah. Period. Like I said, yeah, like I said earlier, guys, like, if you're friends with somebody and they come out to you or something like that, or you come out to your friends and then they take it the wrong way or they look at you differently, they're never really your friend. Yeah. And that, that's literally how I see things. But I, I would say that it's harder though when you're younger. Cause like when you're younger, you're really immature and you're so influenced by like everything, you know, like, yep. like I said, being on a, on a soccer team where everyone was saying, it was kind of like, if you, you're scared to like not say it, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's going to be different. Yeah. So it's scary. Like people go through it. Like it's scary, but I mean, I don't know. Like, how would you react in those situations, Wyatt? Would you say, like, keep it to yourself in those, like, situations where, like, everyone around you isn't supportive of it? You all, I I also feel like you don't need to. You don't need everybody's validation. You don't need. So, I don't think you need everyone's validation. And if you're in a situation where people are not, you know, people aren't going to be supportive because of whatever reason they want to, they want to ride the wave of the homophobic wave. They want to fucking ride that. If they want to do that, uh, controversially, I would say you don't necessarily need to come out in that situation. 
you don't need to come out. You don't need to show that side of yourself mm. to someone that's not going to be there for you. Definitely. I, I say controversially, but also it's because you're showing something deep inside of you that you value. They don't need to know that information. They don't need to get that close to you. It's, it's like you wouldn't share something like a secret with a stranger. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm, let me try and reword this. If they're not going to give you the time of day, you don't need to share your heart with them. Mm. That's how I would say that. Don't like like force it on them. Like if if that's what they're feeling, like just leave it be. Yeah. But like also like I know a lot of like family members like aren't even supportive of that. So like I don't know. Is there something you could say for like people who can't even come out to their family? I feel like yeah, we can say like. Just be yourself. Like, don't even care about that. But like, it's, at it's, some it's point, deeper than that for sure. Yeah. I mean, he hasn't. He hasn't yeah, even yeah. been there at that point. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it's not, it's something you really talk about. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can't necessarily speak on that because I'm. I also feel like because I'm not fully gay, I don't. I can't really express what it's like. Yeah. To be in a situation like that and to have family that won't support you. I guess the best advice I could offer is, turn eighteen, go away to college, start your new life. I guess. Find people who will support you. Like find Definitely. find your support group. Like your build a new yeah. life around people that will be there for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, I appreciate Wise you words. for sharing, man. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you want to end it on a funnier note? Yeah. You want to hear a funny story? Yeah. A funny gay sex story? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Down. Yes. yes. Is it the <laughs> the the story story? The shoe story? I never oh. heard the shoe story. Have you heard the shoe story? I yeah. heard the shoe story. I heard the shoe story, the the shoe story, story. while eating Del Taco. Same. <laughs> yeah. I haven't heard the shoe story. Well, it's a good thing you're not eating, buddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So, I was hooking up with a dude, and it was pretty much over. He just had to finish, and <laughs> <laughs> he was like. <laughs> There's no way. What do you mean? There's no way. I, Kevin's like, how does a shoe I come involved? No, no, I can assume how. Well, watch. No, okay, watch. Just I'm watch. just assuming. <laughs> so, he's you know he's a rubbing and a tugging, and he he's like, hey, what kind of shoes are you wearing? I'm like, well, I don't have my shoes on, obviously, but I'm like, I I got some Nikes. He's like, oh, Nikes, yes, and he's like, can I see your shoe? And I'm like, yeah, uh, give him my shoe. And he's like. Can I put my balls in your shoe? <laughs> I'm like, well, you what? He's like, yeah, you know, I'll buy you a new pair of Nikes. Like, this is like an investment. <laughs> He's like, this is like an investment There's for me. No fucking way. So he puts his puts his little fucking nut and his little nutty <laughs> boys in my shoe, finishes on his stomach. So my shoes got out there pretty unscathed. And then, what the fuck? <laughs> I I was um. So he finished he with his balls in your Nikes. Yes. Did, did you get a new pair of shoes? Yeah, he went, he bought, let's go. He bought me a new pair of Janowski's, like a limited edition and pair. that was at that time too. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Janowski's was a shit at that time. Hell yeah. No, seriously, that was the, that was his dream. He dropped them off at my door with a little note saying like, hey, let's so fucking. I put my balls in your shoes. <laughs> so he's like, this is, we'll, we'll try and plan something to meet soon. I'm like, yeah, I'll text you. And I fucking blocked the number, shoes secured. And that was it. <laughs> shoes secure. Yeah. You're like, you're not putting your balls in any more of my shoes. Yeah, that's like, like, <laughs> dude, those are my <laughs> shoes. Yeah. <laughs> they were like sweaty running shoes. Dude, you know oh. what? I think that guys, happened. like, some guy. Okay, I was like, I was going out with this guy once, and he, like, he was into that shit. Like, if I hadn't showered in a while. Oh, huh? no. Like, they're into, like, that stuff. Dent. The must of, of feet, Come just on. like the must. like the must. the must. I'm saying like I was spending the night at this guy's house for like maybe like three. I was like it was like my third day here, and we were just like kind of chilling. Like I hadn't taken a shower, and he was like, I was like, dude, I need to fucking take a shower. And he was like, oh, yeah, like. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, actually, you don't need to take a shower at all. Actually, <laughs> actually, actually, prefer if you didn't. I've been, I've been letting you marinate this whole time. Yeah, it was this like, whole time. Oh, oh, no. no. that's, that's the right way. <laughs> so what? So you were like, you were like, hold on, let me hop in the shower. And he was like, was he was like, like, like oh, I'm taking a shower. Damn. Even like, I was like, oh, since you just said, that, I was like. I mean, but I mean, it was cool. Like, it was cool that he didn't care that I was like dirty. You like, kink shame the man, right? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. That is not for I me. I would have run the other way. <laughs> really? Damn. If, if he was like, if like you just came back from like a, a tennis match and then he was like, like mm, let me get some of that. <laughs> 
<laughs> Why? Why? Like, Manu, that's cute. Like your man wants to smell your stinky sweat. <laughs> <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I don't, I don't yeah. smell. I don't even. I don't wear deodorant. I don't smell. Okay. <laughs> you don't wear deodorant. I don't wear deodorant. Put your arm right now. I need to smell. Yeah. Wow. I don't. I don't wear deodorant either. I don't need it. Yeah. I, it's because we're Korean. Maru just wants her fucking <laughs> armpits to get smelled. <laughs> Asian girls don't, don't get bo. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Or Korean Korean girls. What do you mean you guys don't get bo? My, my armpits also don't stink. Wait, that's not natural though. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. I don't think it's either. That's not natural. I don't even wait, smell like wait, anything right now. One pity, it's not you smell like you smell like something. That's not natural. It's Put your arm out. Soap. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm kind of scared. No, no, no. Just your arm. Just your arm. That's <laughs> smell your fucking armpit. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I don't smell. Wait, I'm confused. What do you mean you guys don't smell like girl Asian girls don't have Korean BO? girls don't have BO. <laughs> some? Yeah. Wait, Maybe some. Cynthia, I heard it's like a Korean thing. Even guys I have like heard don't that. need Yeah. Yeah. I Korean guys heard. don't really get BO either. Yeah. It's like a thing. Do we guys, like Do you sweat? Yes. yes we sweat, but oh. I think we have like this gene or something that like prevents us from getting BO. It's like it's deodorant like science. Just I saw like it makes it like crusty. Like I just rather not wear deodorant. Yeah. I don't need deodorant. Yeah. <laughs> Don't smell yeah. yours. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> smell, my like, smell it. Just smell it. It don't smell bad. Smell it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, you heard that too? That Asian people don't smell? Yeah, in Korea. We're talking about Korean <laughs> people. Oh, 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 oh. Dude, Korean it's people? probably our diet, like all the Korean food. Oh, because we put vegetables in everything. And ev all our, our diet is just vegetables. Wait, I eat, I eat vegetables no, a lot. No, it's a genetic thing. I have been a Korean I'm barbecue. Sure yeah. There's a lot of meat. But it's got to be genetically. <laughs> meat, it's like meat, rice, and like vegetables, though. So you're telling me that if I eat meat, rice, and vegetables, I will never smell? Korean vegetables. That's crazy, I'm just kidding. bro. I'm just kidding. <laughs> nah, we got to hit a gym day. Hell yeah. I don't smell after no, soccer even, games, even like I my, swear. Even on my leg days, I yeah. be I be going crazy for like I don't know. I don't wear deodorant because I don't be smelling. That the only crazy. thing that I used to like really smell were like my cleats. <laughs> I couldn't imagine. <laughs> I couldn't do that. No, but I if I do forget that. like deodorant, like I'm out. Yeah, yeah. I, I gotta go back. Home. I get one like once or something. Like, yeah, oh, like shit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I <pop> it's <laughs> the this part. Like, it's the this part. Yeah, you don't even listen to your arm. Hey, hey, what's up, dude? My name, my name, my name is What's your name? What's up, bro? What's wrong? What's wrong? I didn't wear deodorant. That shit's crazy, but that's a fact. No, I'll 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 leave the gym early because. I, if uh, yeah. I forget deodorant, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I don't want to be that guy. I've never once forgotten deodorant. I did it like I did it once my whole life, and yeah. it was like the whole time I was like, who the fuck smells? And then <laughs> <laughs> I realized it was me, and I was like, oh shit! I was like, okay, I'm just gonna finish this. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah. you learn something oh. new every day, y'all. The more um, you know. The only thing I smell like is weed and perfume. <laughs> yeah. Literally, perfume. when Satan walks in, it's like weed. <laughs> I like and that smell. A whole though. lot of perfume. It's like weed. I like the smell of weed. I don't smoke weed, but the smell of weed just right? gets me. Um, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and uh, I think we should wrap it up on that note. What we think? What we think? Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for tuning in to Suburb Talks. Make sure you yeah. like, subscribe, follow us on all our platforms. Add us oh. on my Snapchat, Nick underscore Uh, follow, not follow. Join the Discord. Um. We hop in there every so often. Wyatt literally lives in there. Um, I do. <laughs> but other than that, guys, yeah. Thanks for tuning in. I'm your host, uh, Nick Rehetta. Also, oh. how, many li how many likes do you get per video? How many likes do I get per video? Let's check. I Should we start doing that? Yeah. Smash that this, like this button. This many likes for... <laughs> if we get 500k <laughs> likes, um, we'll fucking... Let's do, let's do, like, do. Okay, how about this? Hey, oh, 10, 10k likes and we get Jimbo on the podcast. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> hey, okay. 10K, 10k likes and we get Jimmy Zang Jimba, Jimba Slice Jimba on the slice. podcast 15k likes and we get Sweet Tea in a podcast we get 20k likes hey no no hey no 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 hey no 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 hey hey 30k likes and we get rid of Devin hey hey 30k we get rid of Devin <laughs> it's gonna get like 50k. <laughs> 40k likes and Modern says her feet picks to every single one of y'all. Yeah. Smash the like button. Smash the like button. Smash the like button. Um. Anyways. But yeah, just I don't know. I don't know what likes we're at now, but 
like that shit up. And but I will stay true to my word. If we get to any of those likes, I will hit those motherfuckers up as soon as possible. Oh, fuck yeah. If we get to 30k though, I will kick Devin out, please. <laughs> I'm begging you guys. Go ahead and say your motherfucking outros. I didn't agree to this. <laughs> That's the beauty the of it. It's on your channel. The proud. The, the Marines. Marines. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> say, say your outro, right? That was my outro. Oh. Outro. I don't really have an outro. It's Maru. I'll see mm. y'all next week. That was so lame. Hoorah. Hoorah. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks for having me, man. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Anytime. Yeah. Hey, hey. It's always a goddamn pleasure. Mm. Goddamn, Sailor. You so, goddamn right, Sailor. Hell, brother, yeah. Yep. Alright, let's get a final yep. hoorah. Yep. 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 Hey, wait, no, we gotta. What's a. Oh. What's a good. No, no, no. no. What's, oh. a good, like, what's a good, like, all, like, all around thing we can say? I pledge allegiance. No, we're not doing uh. that. What's a good one? What's a good one? What do you what's mean? It's a good, like, soldier. Free like, your little baby. Oh, no. Oh, so, <laughs> free, free gun and free young free thug. Hey, yo, free free gun thug. and free young thug. Okay. Salute with my people. Salute. Yes. Woo! This damn, they're fucked. Damn. They are fucked. I need to stretch. Yeah. This goddamn vest is so goddamn heavy. Uh. I feel like an alligator in a pit of Florida right now.